Yo, what's up? Sleep Paris in the house. Let's do something. So today we're going to be making something nice. Something for those people who like sweet stuff. Guess what? I'm going to be making an ice varnish for you guys. It's hot, so you guys need something cold and very sweet and coffee. And you don't need a lot of gadgets to be able to make this. You only need a French press, coffee, milk, condensed milk. And the reason why it's called Spanish latte is because Spanish people used to make their coffee with some scalded or condensed milk. So we'll start making our Spanish. So guys, follow me. So we're going to start with putting our French press on the weighing scale. Then I'll have to tear. Then I'll put my freshly grounded 40 grams of coffee. The 40 grams of coffee and I'll dilute it with 120 ml of hot water then I'll mix it well and I'll allow it to brew for four minutes And I'll put my plunge on top, put it on it on the side, allow it to brew for four minutes. Then as we do that, I'll be mixing my, my condensed milk. So I'll put around 50 grams. But it depends with how you like it sweet. For me, I don't like it too much sweet, but I'll just put 50 grams. To taste it. Fifty grams. Then as I'm waiting for my coffee to get ready, so if you want it a bit more sweeter, you can add more condensed. If you don't like if you don't like it more sweeter, you can reduce it, you can reduce the condensed milk. And the reason why I decided to make my espresso like this is because you want a very strong cup of a very strong coffee so that you can have that feeling of espresso so we decided to use our french press because we don't have an espresso machine and it's a bit expensive and uh, the disadvantage of using a french press is you get to use a lot of coffee and uh, you don't get that full espresso taste but you get a very close taste of espresso so i like it um yesterday as i was preparing for this i made a very nice espresso and it was very nice which i enjoyed so i thought this is a best way to just try and make an espresso but the only challenge is what i said is you use a lot of coffee to be able to get that strong cup of coffee that will be able to complement your condensed milk and and the espresso feeling. After the four minutes it's done, so I'll have to press it slowly, slowly, so that I get my espresso. And the good thing, what I like about French press, it's, it keeps its crema. As you can see, there's a golden brown crema here. So I'll put my wing scale on again. And I'll put put around 50 ml. It's actually exactly 50 ml. Then I'll mix it well. See the two layer espresso and condensed milk. So I'll make sure I've mixed it well. Just to make sure all the condensed milk and your coffee has mixed up well. Then after that, take some ice cubes. Take 
since I want an ice punish, I put one cube, second cube, three, and I think that's enough for me. Let me add one more. Then I'll add some milk. And there you go, my uh, Spanish latte. I put my straw. Ta-da! And there you go, my Spanish. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for support. Keep locked. And if you've not subscribed, guys, please subscribe on the button on your left. Please. Please. Thank you so much. I love you guys.